she helped your team? Not really. It's, it's slippery. But, you know, like I keep saying, we don't have an excuse. We must try and get the result anywhere we play. So for us, we are putting this game behind us because it's a game that we, we, don't, we don't deserve to lose. Let me say that because there's no any clear cut chances. One zero from a mistake in first, and we are pushing for equalizer, and that can't have happened because we didn't stand well. So for us, you know, we have to put this game behind us and focus on the next game, which is important for us. So where, where did your team get it wrong today? I, I think first half we are not a bit aggressive, as you know, you know, like I knew him very well, like he knows me too. You know, I tried to pick his brain, and he did same thing too. You know, we tried to play three five two today. You know, put pressure on the on our defense to do a lot of long work. And they did the long one, which I predicted, but we didn't pick the second, but that was what caused the first goal. Because the defender nodded it, and the, the wing back didn't stand well for him running wing guard to finish up. So for, for me, I, I don't think, overall, I think we played very well. Just that we didn't create as many chances as possible. Likewise, them too. They didn't really create anything except those run of, run of play. But it's a, it's, it's a football, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and we are focusing on the next one. To follow up on the first question. Would you call this a slippery pitch or a bad pitch? Uh, I don't like I don't like to talk much about my opposition pitch because this is their home and you have to give respect to them. But I don't think it's it's, it's playable enough for both teams to enjoy their football because you could see that a lot of players are falling down. We didn't see my ball today because of the pitch. That yeah, exactly. We are, we are not able to keep the ball. They they were not able because even the friendly game we play, they play better than they did today. You know, so both teams struggle. Maybe the pitch is the cause, you know. So after your game against Lobby Stars, your victory uh, midweek, you said that Rivers United were under pressure. Did you think they were under pressure today against your team? Yeah, I think they were. You know, like I said to the boys, if anyone tried to lose to any team, not against me. Anyway, you know. So it has happened, it has gone. You know, the focus is on the next game. He's leading 1-0 now. They will come to a battle and I'll wait for revenge. <laughs> so what would you have done differently looking at the fact that you lost 2-0 to Rivers today? Yeah, like I said, you know, the, the, the goal didn't reflect the game. If they had created many chances or oh, my keeper was on that prayer, I would have said, yeah, they deserve to win. The two goals, the score was at the run of play. Not that it was something that, you know, that was really opened. Or uh, maybe it does that we didn't stand well at some point in the defence at the run of play. So it happened. It happened. Coach, you've talked Coach. about knowing Finidi. Uh, you worked under him as an assistant just a few months ago before being the you know, technical manager of Enyumba. And you've talked about it being 1 0 in favor of Finidi now. We saw similar thing in the Premier League, Pep versus Ateta. And some players saying that it will be war when you know the return leg will be playing. What is the mentality uh, for your team whenever you come up against Rivers United next? Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't really want to create a, a bit of. You know, honestly, rivalry between us. You know, we have full respect for each other. Even while we are working together, it's someone that trusts and respects me so much, just like I respect as my, I don't see like my boss, like my big brother. Because even as at this morning, we still talk at length. And this game will not change anything between both of us, honestly. The respect has to be there, and we wish everybody all the best. But when they come back for return leg, like, we have to take our own chances too. Like they came last time, we won them 4 1, even before Benedi came here. So for me, we are putting this game behind us. Coach, we saw in Uyo and we look forward to having you here today. You knew this was definitely going to be a big game. For Ayimba, you guys playing on the continent, it's a big name, also playing here in the local league. Every game definitely must be one of pressure. Now, let me ask, do you think you have found your rhythm? Do you think your team is yet it? I'm asking this because of what we saw against the Tuafilantia when we spoke there. Yes, do you think? Yeah, you, you know, uh, on that question, we, we have a lot of players and featuring the same players we want them hard. We have to do a bit of rotation today. Like today now you saw some player, Daga was not here, the, the winger from uh, uh, Clinton Jetta is in camp. They are both with under 20. Akane Elijah, there's so many players are not here today. You need to give others chance. Because you are playing the continent, you are playing the league. For the past two weeks we play this is our fifth game. You know, some players will run out, you have to feature new ones, and everybody, I think those ones that played today, I was really impressed with what they give today. Players may not give at the same thing, at the same level, at the same time, because the fitness level, the settling that is for the new ones is, is not the same. So, player doesn't give you the uh, same thing at any level. So, those that played today, I was impressed with what they did, and we can only build on this. And everybody has to settle down in the team and, and, and feel at home. Coach, one more question. How worried are you about your back line? Against uh, Heartland, you considered a goal. Against uh, maybe Stan, you also considered a goal. You considered two. And against the 12th Philante, it was all God that saved the Imba with that last chance. 
how worried are you about that back line? I mean, defense, they say win tournament, and of course, goals can only win matches. Yeah, of course, when you when you chip in goal this way, you have to be worried as a coach. But for me, I don't really want to bank more on their mistakes, you understand? Because if you don't make mistakes, they're not going to score you. I look at the strength of the team, because if you see this team, you look at our back line, you have Moses, who just came in, the keeper who came in. We lost eight important players last season. I think people have to stand behind this team. You know, when you have 21 new players and we are competing the way we are competing in the league and the continent, you have to give credit to the team, you know. But we get better, you know. But I don't like conceding goals. If you look at my team very well, that's why we try to keep the ball playing the opponent's half to reduce the pressure in our half. Because in this league, I know this league very well, the more they play in your half, the more you are able to concede, you, you must concede goal. Because definitely you see one player or two not standing well, losing concentration. That will always happen. So, but for me, I think it's, it's, it's a bit worrisome. But we have to improve on that, honestly. And we we'll get to that. Thank you. So Thank you.